What's up guys, Pet Man Matt Morrow here. We're gonna take a look at this game between Rocky River. Traveling over to Butler. A uh, little bit of a uh, Mint Hill thing kind of going here. Uh, for Rocky River, you know, they're coming off the overtime win uh, against East Mech. Um, they're gonna have to, um, man, I mean, this is, you, Butler's rolling right now. <laughs> And I'm sure if Rocky River looks at that film, they're going to be like, oh, man, what can we do on offense? Um, you know, Rocky River's a spread team. And, um, you know, like Dale said a couple weeks ago, at this point in the season, you are who you are. So Rocky River's going to have to, you know, throw the football and get Tyshawn Carter really going in, in uh, the running element of the game. Butler's going to have to play smart. They're going to have to contain rush. They cannot just run upfield without reckless abandon, which I'm sure they won't do. Um, and they got to keep Carter contained in the pocket and make him beat him, beat you from the pocket. Uh, conversely, for Butler, uh, Rocky River has been playing better run defense. Um, you know, they, they really kind of limited East Mac last week. Now, East Mac, you know, didn't have their quarterback, so you can kind of just pretty much play 90% uh, run. Uh, against Butler, of course, you can't do that. So, you know, we'll see if their defense has uh, corrected some issues that they had from earlier in the year against other teams. Um, Butler is really potent in the running game, obviously with uh, Peoples running the football in the passing game with Davis Cheek, Kasiga Kiriton. They will not have Dirk Kiriton um, from the uh, suspension from the Myers Park game, unfortunately, but they do have enough guys to step up and consistently make plays. Um, you know, it, it's hard to predict an, an upset here. Uh, Rocky River, we know they have depth issues. Butler would have to really kind of beat themselves with turnovers. And Rocky River, I think I think you got to take some chances and try to force some turnovers and just kind of break the rhythm that they have on offense. Um, but it won't be easy. You know, Butler has so many tools in the toolbox. Coach Brian Hales does such a great job with that offense. Um I think if you're Coach Fowler, and um, I know he, he's been doing this for so long, you got to pull out a couple tricks out, out of your sleeve, and I know he has them. I've seen them. Um, and, you know, just let it ride, man, and see what you can do. But um, if you do go to Butler, uh, let us know what you think. I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.